So do you remember to hear joined by Aaron Bronstieter at TSN.ca? Uh, we just heard the devastating news that Max Holloway is out of UFC 226, which is going down here in Las Vegas on Saturday evening. Um, Aaron, uh, of course, the news was first reported by Ariel Halani of ESPN.com this evening, reported uh, con that Max was basically showing concussion symptoms um, and that obviously he has now been withdrawn from the card. So I guess um, we, we were out having dinner, of course, yes. here in Vegas. Uh, what, I guess, is your initial reaction to the news? My reaction is that our dinner was ruined. But, uh, <laughs> it was. The, uh, my initial reaction is that it's tough to see, but at the same time, when you look at the card, UFC 226, if you, if you move Platinum Perry versus um, Paul Felder up to the main card, you still have Roundtree versus Sadie. You've got Felder versus uh, Mike Perry. You've got uh, Cormier and Stipe, obviously. And uh, you have Francis Ngannou versus Derek Lewis. Like, this is still a very, very good card that, with this fight being pulled off of it, is not irreparable in terms of the damage done. But as we've seen from international fight weeks in the past years, this is a trend. You know, it's the fourth straight year where a fight... You just tweeted out. Didn't yeah. You? I tweeted out a timeline of uh, the last four years where very close to the fight. One of the principals has pulled out of the main or co-main event for the last four years. It just seems like there's some sort of curse. Oh, it certainly does. I mean, uh, you just labeling out there the, the other fights that are on the card. There are some very exciting ones. But for you, was this your most highly anticipated? Because I know for a lot, of, a lot of people it was. It was the co-main event, but it was the one everyone kind of wanted to see, right? It was not. I still think that Stipe versus Cormier is, is the big sell for this card. And it's still the fight that I'm most looking forward to. It's going to be great to see uh, Cormier back at heavyweight. That being said, Holloway versus uh, um, Ortega was a, a one that I was really looking forward to because Ortega just got so many weapons. Uh, I thought that Holloway had the best way to win, mm -hmm. but that Ortega had more ways to win. And I really wanted to see how this would have played out. Now, had Max been able to get the fight night, it still looks like it would have been a, a tough night for him based on what we've seen today. We saw him slugging for sure. the uh, open workouts. We see the clip that's now circulating from the UFC tonight where he looks like he's really uh, not, not really fit. No, doesn't know really what's happening. It seems really out of it during the interview. Michael Bisping reference to it during the interview. Says, are you sleepy, Max? Yeah, and Max, like, you know, I'm good, I'm good, but mm. clearly not the case. He's now going to the emergency room for the second straight night. So this is, uh, or sorry, it was there Monday, and now he's there Wednesday. Yeah. So this is clearly a big issue and uh, something that I'm glad that they, they pulled him off the card, um, oh, yeah. given that this is the situation, because uh, obviously, fighter safety first, this is one of those circumstances. Yeah, I mean, just going back to the open workout, we were both there today, uh, held in the MGM Grand. Um, what you know, we saw a very similar kind of open workout that he put on in Brooklyn, where it was very slow, very laboured. E even today, I thought it was worse. Um, and then you check out his uh, interview afterwards. The eyes, the eyes for me were what did it. And I said to uh, one of our colleagues, Jose Youngs, afterwards, I said Max doesn't look very well. Um, I didn't know if it's concussion or whatever, but I just said he didn't look, he didn't look normal. Um, so I guess, did you pick that up today? Or is it now, I guess, uh, looking in hindsight, you think he was a bit wobbly, or did you pick it up? Well, we, we did talk about it afterwards. I was sitting with a lot of my uh, colleagues, I guess, that were worked for uh, MMA fighting. So it was myself, Mark Raimondi, uh, Sean El Shadi, uh, EKZ Nate, Esther. We were all talking about how sluggish Max looked, how slow he looked, yeah. and how he was trying to get the crowd hyped up. It's just like nothing. He was trying behind. to bring energy yeah. to it, and then there was just nothing on what he was throwing, like you just said. And, it just seemed like he wasn't himself, and it seems like he wasn't himself during the scrum. So, yeah. in hindsight, the signs were definitely there. Yeah, wise after the event, maybe. So, I guess uh, you were saying earlier, the card is very deep. Do you think there's any possibility uh, we do see the UFC try and bring someone in? Like, uh, Frankie Edgar was saying two weeks ago that he would be staying ready, and uh, I think his exact wording was, I would find it hard to say no if I felt it was right and the money was right. It's tough. I mean, are you going to introduce an interim title? It's just. And, and we've just seen that fight as well. We've right? just seen that fight. What are you going to do that's going to make it a worthwhile endeavor? Is there somebody who's going to be able to cut that kind of weight on short notice to make it an interim title? Like, if I'm buying or taking, I'm not fighting for anyone else an interim title. And uh, I don't think that there's, that there's really a whole lot of upside in fighting on this card. That there, there's, you know, there's no reward for him. I mean, we saw what happened with Edgar. Edgar, mm. uh, when Holloway pulled out of their fight. Um, and I should mention, this is the third fight that Holloway's pulled yeah, out this year. I was just about to say that. It's the third pretty one. Mm -hmm. um, Edgar decided to roll the dice, risk it, fight Ortega. We saw how that fight ended up. Um, so does Ortega look at that and say, you know what? I've got a title shot in my lap. Let's hang on to it. This is a bigger opportunity. I know he's been talking very keenly about wanting to fight this weekend regardless. He said if Holloway didn't make weight, he still wanted to fight. So hopefully, you know, he, he thinks this over and really comes up with a decision that he thinks is the right decision for him 
with that's fighting to put on a show with the mm-hmm. skills. I mean, there does there is a lot that goes into this. You travel, you work media, you do a whole yeah. camp, you do media, you're doing all of all of these things to build up this fight, and then just days before it falls falls out. Sometimes your mind says, "I gotta I gotta do this. I gotta go out there and perform. I, yeah. I want to put on a show for my fans." But then if you go to the rational side of your brain and say, "I've got a title shot." Yeah, it's waiting for me. Could have a couple months. Let's let's sit this one out. Yeah, that's probably the, the best case, the best thing for him, in my opinion. The difficulty with this situation is is the is the nature of what the injury is, the, the concussion. It's not something you can uh, very quickly get over. I know people have suffered like concussions, and like it can haunt you for a very well, very look, look very at TJ long Grant, time. Canadian yeah, who was supposed to fight for the lightweight title. People said that he pulled out of the fight because the UFC paid him off because he was in Milwaukee and yeah. they wanted to fight for the title. Well, if they paid him off, he certainly stuck yeah. he stayed out of the sport for quite some time. Yeah, it must have been a pretty um, good paycheck, right? Definitely now. had a, a big battle with post concussion syndrome that he hasn't fought since, and that's, I, I guess, five years probably now yeah. since TJ Grant's been in the octagon. So it is something that is a, a serious, serious issue, and if that's the case with Max, he should probably take a step back and, and reassess what he wants to do in, in this sport. Right. He's still very young. It's crazy young, he's, man. He's, he's like, a kid. And, yeah. you know, these are things that you do need to think about. But at the same time, I mean, I think that Max Holloway is one of the hottest fighters in the sport right now. Sure. But his win streak, you know. And just the, the fans are still. Yeah. Like, Holloway's got a big, yeah, like you said, he's got a big following. He's, he's really put Hawaii in the map in terms of mixed martial arts after BJ Penn. So I, I do hope that everything works out well. Yeah, for sure. So um, there we have it. There's the latest news that we have right now. Uh, Max Holloway out of UFC 226. Uh, the show goes on. Uh, we're going to have a lot more stuff going on tomorrow. We have the uh, weigh-ins for the Ultimate Fighter Season uh, 27 finale going down. And no doubt, uh, I'm guessing the situation from what's happened this evening will further develop. So um, uh, thanks for tuning in and keep it locked to MMANet.com and uh, obviously uh, Aaron's stuff over at TSN.ca. So uh, thanks for watching.